Hey guys, I want to talk to you about the Covert series and the sizes, the weight sizes. It's pretty simple. We have four sizes, three eighths, half, three quarter, and the one ounce. Most cases, I throw a half and three eighths. You know, the half is the standard size that I feel like guys fish with a lot, and three eighths. When am I going to throw the three eighths? Mainly, it's super shallow cover. And two foot or less, all the way out to the boat, you're talking about flooded lily pads, grass, things like that and or they're spawning. I need that bait to land really, really softly in the water and keep that bait high. That's when I'm gonna throw the 3 8 ounce. The spinner bait that I throw 80% of the time when I'm spinner bait fishing. It's the half ounce covert series. And the reason I throw a half ounce is it's the standard. You know, I can cover a lot of water. I can fish water that's really, really shallow all the way out to four or five foot deep. You may start off on the bank reeling that thing pretty fast and keeping it up high, and then once you get it out there, you slow it down. It's kind of the all-around spinnerbait to me. You know, over the years, a lot of the tournaments that I've won on a spinnerbait have come on a half ounce. I can fish it shallow, and I can fish it all the way out to four or five foot. A lot of times, when you talk about three-quarter and one ounce, guys think about water depths, you know, 10, 20, even up to 30 foot deep. That's not what I designed this spinnerbait for. The reason I throw a three-quarter ounce is to carry a big blade and be able to move that bait pretty fast. If you were to put this number six, Hildebrandt, on a half ounce, you'd have to fish it so, so slow. So I want to still be able to move, but anytime in that pre-spawn, a lot of times they'll be out there close to the boat. So I'm able to throw that thing up on the bank, get some bites up there, but a lot of the bigger bites come when I slow roll that thing out there on the boat. But that's the main reason for the three quarter ounce. And for the most part, it's pre-spawn and it's dirty water. A pretty good rule in a spinnerbait is the bigger the blade that you're gonna throw, the more weight you need to carry that blade to be able to move that bait fast. The one ounce, I'm gonna throw this in two conditions. One is pre-spawn, but the cool thing about this bait is I can throw it up on the bank. As I get close to the boat, I just, I slow her down. And you can just feel that big blade, just boom, 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 boom. And you get a lot of those bites from those pre-spawn fish in that dirty water. Another condition is after the spawn, you know, I see a lot of times these fish, you know, they get on the rocks and they're eating shad fawn or something like that. It lets me fish a lot of that steeper stuff quickly and get some of those bites in shallow water.